This morning in today's flu watch, some breaking news on the H1N1 vaccine front. There's been a major breakthrough, which could mean that you'll only need one flu shot this fall. That's one swine H1N1 shot. Joining us is Dr. Travis Stork, host of The Doctors. Good morning. Good to Thanks see you. Thanks for having me. Welcome I appreciate back. it, as well, always. I hope you're carrying the hand sanitizer there. I just washed you know, them. Right. You're okay. All right. All right. I day. promise. I all right. So I'm in the car yesterday, and all of a sudden I hear this headline, only one H1N1 shot this fall instead of two. For the last couple of months, it's going to be it's going to be two. Why only one shot? Well, because the research has been very promising. It's shown that after one shot, the immune response is robust, and that's in adults. So that's very promising. It's effective within eight to ten days, which is also a good thing. Mm -hmm. And and I think there was a lot of fear that people would have to go in for one shot, get a booster. They don't need to. Now again, we'll talk about this in a minute, but it's not the regular seasonal flu shot we're talking right. about here. Just the H1N1. Flu That's shot. what we have to clarify because we've been going back on that again too. Because the regular flu shot is available now that you would get normally, correct? That's correct. And, and so, so you should go ahead and get your flu shot if you're a regular flu shot person. We're still waiting for the H1N1 vaccine. When is that supposed to be available? So H1N1, mid-October most likely. Mm -hmm. And the seasonal flu vaccine, it's already out there. So if you traditionally want to get the seasonal flu vaccine, if right. you're at risk, I recommend going to get it now. And this is what's really important. We were talking about this before the segment. The regular seasonal flu in many cases has worse symptoms than just the swine flu. So a lot of these people who are getting the swine flu, a couple days, fevers, muscle right. aches, they get better. And this year it could be a particularly bad regular flu season on top of the swine flu. Right. So if you, the most important thing to keep in mind, a guy, okay, I don't usually get a flu shot anyway, but uh, should I get a flu shot or who are the people who absolutely should get the H1N1 vaccine? Well, pregnant women at the top of the list because pregnant women are at more risk for complications. Young children, for certain. Someone like me, I'm a healthcare worker, I work in the ER. I could be a vector, I can spread it, so I should get the shot to prevent being a vector. And then if you have underlying health problems, if you have underlying lung problems, it's really important to get the vaccine because we're trying to prevent complications. That's what it's all about, and especially this one, pregnant women, because their immune systems are compromised in the first place.